Autonomous Drive is here, and I'm going to take a look at the intelligence behind it and what part AI plays in deep learning. Let's start with how an autonomous car sees. We've got laser sensors in the front and a camera, radar sensors in the rear, a top-down camera, and a big computer in the trunk so that all of this visual data can be put together so the car can figure out what to do. Well, let's take a step back and learn about artificial intelligence. This is human intelligence exhibited by machines, and it's been around since the 1950s. But until recently, we haven't had enough data to train the machines or the compute power to process that data. Affordable compute is mainly being driven by NVIDIA, who changed the game with their programmable GPUs, which can process enormous amounts of data simultaneously. NVIDIA's GPUs are used to build a deep learning neural network. A neural network is loosely based around the brain. It's a biologically inspired programming paradigm, which enables a computer to learn from observational data. Deep learning is a set of techniques that computers use to learn inside of neural networks. AI and deep learning are key technologies in piloted drive, and we can find characteristics of this on the road today when it comes to object and image recognition and collision avoidance. But if we really want cars to learn to drive truly autonomously, the car is going to need to learn on its own and have the ability to quickly resolve complex situations. Today, I'm visiting with Audi to learn more about their piloted drive system. I really wanted to understand how deep learning applied to piloted driving. So I checked out the model vehicle Q2 deep learning concept. The car has developed strategies to learn a number of complex tasks like parking. At first, the algorithm learns on the computer's parking simulation with several million repetitions. In deep reinforcement learning, positive results are rewarded with a high score, and the error values decrease significantly over time. The sensors in the model car are the same as what appears on a full-size car like Jack, Audi's piloted drive A7. Even though this is my first time driving in an autonomous car, I completely trust it. My biggest problem was I didn't know what to do with my hands. On my second drive, I was joined by Sophia by Hansen, who is a robotic AI, and Dr. Klaus Furvein, who really got into explaining deep learning and piloted drive to me. You will need uh, several deep learning environments, for example, for percepting the environment, for example, for um, building realistic and uh, natural driving behavior, for example, for the prediction of what this car will do in the next seconds. And these are all uh, puzzle pieces of deep learning and they have to come together in a, um, in a software architecture environment. equation to map a black hole is very very complex, oh, very, rich, complex. very big um, <laughs> but if if there will be an error in the equation okay you get a wrong um, you, you get a wrong result right. but no no there will be no accident right. if That's you got true. a wrong uh, a wrong output of an equation in a car driving 130 kilometers an hour on the autobahn um, it's safety relevant right and mm. Can you actually explain which, which parts of the autonomous drive are, are best for deep learning? Yes, definitely um, in perception, mm -hmm. um, deep learning is already playing a big role and that will, that will go on. So there are so many um, possible objects on the road which you can't describe by if I see something right. that looks like then, then, yeah. then, <laughs> then. and if not, then. If not, then so yeah. <laughs> that, there's, there's no way to describe right. it. So perception and object detection will be um, come to uh, and, and permanently move on to next levels by deep learning, definitely. So what does this even mean for the average consumer? Is autonomous drive coming our way? Well, for Audi, the new A8 is going to feature a lot of characteristics of Jack. If you have any questions about Autonomous Drive, please let me know in the comments. As always, I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks. Bye.